Some land is perfect. Some land is worth $20,000 to $50,000 an acre. Other land is worthless. It all looks the same. So you need to learn what they call in the business due diligence. Hi there. Today we're discussing the most frequently asked questions about tax deed investing pros and cons with Mr. Ted Thomas, the authority on tax lien certificates and tax deeds. Hi, Ted. Welcome. Glad to be here. Folks, Ted and his team have gathered these real popular questions from Google. They've got them from Bing. They've got them from all over social media to help provide you with real valuable insights on this topic. So what we're going to do now, we're going to dive right in. Um, and I've got a question here from Sally from Virginia. And she says, look, I want to know what's the difference between tax deeds and how do they work? Okay. Uh, tax deeds are a simple investment. Uh, it's a result of someone didn't pay their tax. So a property owner, and it could be anywhere in the United States, a property owner could own a ranch land. They could own a home. They could own a farm and property, whatever they own. They haven't paid the taxes, so they've defaulted on the tax. So the local county now has a problem, and that is they need that money, that tax money. So the local county will go ahead, put that property in default. Once it goes in default, if the if, after numerous notices of default, if the people haven't paid the tax, the treasurer of the county is going to auction the property. When the treasurer auctions the property, they are auctioning the tax deed to the property. In other words, a piece of paper, nothing more than a piece of paper, which is a tax deed. They're gonna auction that to a new owner that's done at a public auction. Those public auctions are ca carried out usually on the courthouse steps or in a big room at the local county. They sell the properties for starting bids of basically the back taxes. And some auctions will have dozens of properties. Some properties will have hundreds and some will even have, some counties will even have thousands of these properties to sell every single year. So all the counties in the United States can sell tax defaulted property. That's a tax deed. Okay, that's great because um, I've got here a question from David. He's He wants to know, he says, listen, he says, what's the difference between tax deed investing compared to other forms of real estate? Well, regular real estate, when you buy that, you're going to more than likely have a broker helping you out. And in some communities, they have brokers and attorneys help you out, uh, you'd be probably using a title company. Uh, so you have a lot of uh, advisors around you when you're buying. When you're buying at tax defaulted auctions, you're your only advisor. You you advise yourself. You figure out when the auction is, you figure out what price you're willing to pay, you know what you're gonna sell it. So the complete cycle of from buying all the way to selling is gonna be up to you. In other words, you're gonna be like an entrepreneur. You're gonna get to do everything. And there's rewards for doing that. Now it's a huge reward because if you know what you're doing, then you could buy properties for 10 and 20 cents on the dollar with no mortgage, when the mortgage has been wiped out or the deed of trust has been wiped off the property. So if you could buy properties for 10 to 20 cents on the dollar without a mortgage or deed of trust, I mean, how many of those would you want to buy? You'd want to buy a lot. Well, all 3,000 plus counties across the United States will sell tax defaulted property. Wow, that's incredible. So, you know, then it begs the question for these folks, they, they, they want to know, well, what are the risks that are associated with this? Well, there's some big risks. There's a lot of risks. Uh, when you want to buy a tax defaulted property, you're going to have risk to contend with. If, first of all, the biggest risk is, are you educated? And if you are educated, who educated you? I mean, did you get someone else that was living down the street from you that you both decide you want to do this, educate each other? Or are you going to class? Or are you attending a formal training on this? I mean, if you go on, if you go on YouTube, there's probably a uh, hundred people all talking about taxes and deeds. Have any of them ever been to an auction? Have any of them ever bought anything? Have any of them ever sold anything? I don't know. You might want to check on that. All right. So there's risk in your education to start with. So that's a big, big number one, but there's a bigger one than that. And that is, what do you know about property? If you don't know anything about property, then you better start thinking this thing out because 
When you buy a property at a tax default deduction, I'm going to tell you right now, you're buying it from the county. The county does not warranty the condition and they do not give you any guarantees whether the title doesn't have defects. All right, now there's two things you have to worry about in real estate. One is the condition. You already know that. A lot of falling down houses, right? All right, right. so the condition, county's not warrantying that. What about if there's a, a break in the chain of title? What if there's a, a fraudulent commands taking place? Do you know anything about that? Well, so if you want to buy a property to be an entrepreneur, you'll probably be get number one would be to get educated. And who do you want to learn from? Really think that out. I mean, there's thousands of people going to teach you, but do they know anything? I mean, so you're going to go down to the local club and have a couple of beers and learn about tax things? I don't think so. All right, so you need to learn about it first, but then when you buy tax to follow the property, you need to have a four letter word in your mind, R-I-S-K. How are you going to eliminate that? There's lots of ways to eliminate it. And there's people making $100,000 a deal because they do. All right. I'm not bragging that you're going to make $100,000 on every deal, but I'm telling you that it's not some piece of cake business that you're going to get rich. You're not going to be rich by next Friday, guaranteed by Ted. Okay. So basically, you're, you know, one should be looking out for some mentorship, uh, learning how to do this business because it is very uh, appealing. It's very uh, lucrative. And of course, with that comes risk, like you're saying. And so, you know, I got Doris here in Facebook and she says, what are the advantages of purchasing properties through a tax deed auction? Okay, so everybody likes to talk about advantages. So uh, yeah. I think her name was Doris. If, yeah. no, I said, Doris, here's what you need to do. The advantage is this. The auction is going to start at the back taxes. Now, that's a huge, a huge advantage. In other words, the auction will start out at just the taxes that were owed on the property. So let's say it's a $200,000 property and there's $5,000 in taxes that aren't due. That's where the auction is going to start. Now, imagine what an advantage that is. Right. What if it didn't have any liens and it was sold at five cents on the dollar and you could buy it for 10 cents on the dollar? All right, so it's 200000 it's worth and you got it for $20,000. Wow, you just got enough to make a small fortune. Does that happen on every deal? That doesn't happen on every deal, but you better get yourself educated before you start spending the money. Once you give the county the money, okay, you're buying something. They, in turn, are going to give you a deed. When they give you the deed, it's your baby. If there's anything wrong with that property, it's your baby. If you don't know what the condition is and you don't understand property title, you're going to learn real fast and hopefully it doesn't have any defects. But when did you ever see a piece of real estate that didn't have defects? There isn't one. So from the viewer's perspective, Ted, so, you know, how can, how can one really minimize the risk? How that they're unforeseen, how can they do that? Well, it's just like anything else in life. If you want to go out and learn how to roller skate, guess what? You're probably going to fall down a few times. So you might want to, you might want to take a few lessons. You might want to get someone that's going to hold your hand a few times. All right. So when you've got a bicycle, you had training wheels on it. So get a little bit of training, learn how to do it. Now, I'm in the training business. So full disclosure, I like to teach people how to do this. But you can learn it yourself. Now, are you going to be an expert in two weeks? No. But you can start from scratch at the county records and go step by step through a process. All right, once you learn how to do this, you can mitigate risk by learning what's going on. All right, you're not gonna mitigate risk by being a Pollyanna and say, oh, I'm looking up to heaven and I can't make any mistakes. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna make mistakes in this business. So you could get a coach, you could get guidance to do this, you could learn how to do it, you'll be okay. If you don't do that, then just go slowly. Do things a little bit at a time, attend a lot of auctions. I'll tell you, if you attend three or four auctions, you'll see people making huge mistakes. I mean, the mistakes are so obvious, it's hard to believe. For example, gentleman standing next to me with his wife. We're bidding at the auction. He wins the bid, turns to his wife and said, oh, let's go look and see what we bought. Ow. Think about what I just said. Let's go look and see. What if he gets there and the property is falling down and it's in the middle of a bad neighborhood? He's not getting his money back from the county. I'll tell you right now. It's an auction and auctions mean buyer beware. The county will tell you all properties are sold as is. As is means buyer beware. You know, I got this guy, Phil, who just popped up. He has a question from YouTube. 
And he said, um, listen, he says, um, you know, is it suitable for beginners or does, does this have to be an experienced investor to get involved in this? Well, the experienced investors make just as many mistakes as the, the new people do because they don't want to get educated. So you might be better off if you're a newcomer because then you'll learn in the step-by-step -step process how to do it. People that are investors, they make huge mistakes because they think they know everything. You know, another question from the same folks, they, they want to know, um, what are some of the common mistakes to avoid uh, when investing in the, the tax deeds? Okay, people that buy tax deeds, some of them don't realize when you get that deed, you now own a property, okay? okay. You don't want to buy a property, number one, if you don't know what the condition of it is. All right, so if you go out and want to buy property at an auction, I don't think just driving by is enough. So a lot of people just drive by and they decide that then and there. Well, there could be structural problems. There could be defects in the title or whatever. So if you don't believe, just go out and drive by on a piece of land. When you drive by land, it all looks the same. Good grass on it, good trees. Right. Some land is perfect. Some land is worth $20,000 to $50,000 an acre. Other land is worthless, but it all looks the same. So you need to learn what they call in the business due diligence. There isn't anything that's so complicated you can't learn it, but you're not going to get rich by next Friday. You need to get educated. So mistake number one is people buy something they've never seen. So you don't want to do that. All right, next big mistake they make, big mistake, is if they bought it at the auction, why did they buy it and what are they going to do with it? What is their exit strategy? In other words, if it was a $200,000 property and they paid $200,000, their exit strategy can't be to make a profit. I know that. So what is their exit strategy? You need to have one. Now, if you had a $200,000 property and you could buy it for $50,000, I understand you got some margin. All right. right. So first thing, make sure you understand the condition. Second thing, what is your exit strategy? Third thing is, have you gone to the county records? By the way, those are the public records. And you can go into the public records if you know how. You could go into the records and you can find out is there any other municipal liens on it or federal liens on it? Are there easements across the property? Does it have the proper ingress and egress? What if it didn't have good drainage? Okay, what if it doesn't have water? What if it doesn't have power? I mean, those are things that you want to check on. All right, this happens. People buy property say, what am I going to do with it? Well, try and sell it. It's going to be a problem. You're going to be back at the tax auction. So what's going to happen? There's properties that don't have utilities are not going to sell very well. So you need to do your due diligence. You need to think about it. It's not a it's not a pull up your gun and start shooting, you know, see who's the fastest could draw at the auction. Although you'll see people at auctions, they're raising their hand as soon as the as soon as the auctioneer starts out with a the number, they're raising their hand to bid. And then if you ask them, do you know what the property is? They'll say, No, I don't even know what it is. Not not a good strategy. Not a good strategy. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, um, they're also asking me, you know, they're saying, so um, what are the potential challenges associated with performing due diligence on tax deed properties prior to purchase? So, you know, you're saying, you know, due to due diligence, they're asking what are the challenges that they might come across? Um, you can call them challenges for, for lack of a better word. Uh, call it education is probably better. You just need to educate yourself. First of all, what is the condition? Secondly, what are the property records gonna show you? Does it have any defects in the title? Third, what are you gonna pay because you've already figured out your exit strategy, all right? So we could go on from there, but if you can handle those three that I just mentioned, you're off to a good start because you now know what you could sell it for. You don't wanna buy something you're not gonna sell. Now, there are people that want the property next door. So if you're gonna to go to an auction and you know the guy that lives next door is trying to buy it, well, don't bid against him because he's gonna bid it all the way up. Why is he gonna bid it up? Because he wants it so his kids can play baseball. They wanna play baseball, they wanna go out there and throw passes. They, they just want the property next door. So that's not, that's not one you wanna bid on. But if you wanna bid on a property, you wanna check and make sure that all the title work is clear. And you can go into the county records and check that yourself. If you don't know how, Buy a book and learn how, or ask the county people if they'll give you some information. All right, so you want to check the property, you want to ch check the records, 
and you want to know what you're going to do with it. Those are the three basic ones to get started. Are there a lot more than that? Well, of course. I mean, you're getting the idea. So uh, can you learn all that in 10 minutes? No, but you need to learn to check the condition of property before you ever buy one. You know, Doris just came back to me and she says, based on what you just said, she says, what would Ted recommend my next steps be for someone like myself interested in tax deed investing? She needs to go to school and uh, and learn how so she can go to our website. Uh, we teach uh, we teach people every other week. We have a class that lasts six hours. Now, before you go any further, this is not a free class. So let me just go. This class costs $47 starts at 11 o'clock in the morning and it doesn't stop all the way through until six okay you're gonna have lunch there'll be people talking you gotta drink your your coffee in the morning people will be talking to you in the afternoon when you're having your your afternoon snack whatever there's someone there all the time the speakers keep changing and they they're all experienced people they're all teachers coaches and people that have done it and they tell you a lot about tax needs and deep will you be an expert at the end of that no but at the end of six hours you'll know a lot and be educated enough to be able to start making a decision like, should you not do it? Or should you start thinking about going to class or what you should do? But that six hours and $47 is an absolute bargain. And so that's one way to learn. Another way to learn is look at an auction calendar below me. We will put up an auction calendar. Uh, I call it a magic map. And you can go there with, a, with your cursor and you can see how many properties are available in every state in the United States. Whatever they have in an auction, it shows as a white circle on the map. They'll tell you how many properties are available, and they'll even give you the starting prices of all that. So they can do both of those things just by going below. Hey, Ted, I've got a question from Kelly. She's here on uh, YouTube, and she said she read on your website that, you know, th this was all safe, secure, and predictable. And uh, she says, I hope this is not a stupid question. Kelly, here's the answer. When you read that on my website, thanks for reading the website, but... I was talking about tax lien certificates. Now, I'm an advocate of tax lien certificates, and I'm fond of saying that they're predictable, certain, and secure. Now, why do I say they're predictable, certain, and secure? Because if you buy a tax lien certificate, what you do is you don't give money to Ted Thomas. You give me money directly to the county, all right? That means it's gonna be protected by the property tax code. Now, the county's gonna hold your money, okay? Yeah, but they're going to do something else for you. They're going to give you a secure investment. So now it's predictable, it's certain, and it's secure. What are they going to give you? They're going to give you a tax lien certificate. A certificate just like I'm holding in my hand. I thought I held it upside down, but I did hold it the right way. All right, so now you're giving your money to the county. You're going to get the certificate back. Now, if that property owner doesn't pay you, you're going to get the property. What's better than predictable, certain, and secure? That's a tax lien certificate. The opposite is a tax defaulted property. There's where you're gonna make the big money, but there's risks involved in tax defaulted property. Nobody wants to talk about that, but I can tell you, if you can buy a property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, and it doesn't have a mortgage or a deed of trust, it looks to me like that that could be a good investment, but I didn't say it was risk-free. Well, that's great, Ted, and uh, I look forward to um, a lot more questions that just keep on coming in and from Facebook, from the blog, from YouTube, all over social media, the next time we get together. Thanks so much. See you soon. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.